Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Leaked Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. This time we've got uh, a wine that I um, bought from an ad in the newspaper, which I think this is one of the first times I bought wine. I bought three wines, this is one of them. Uh, I'll do the others at a later time. But I um, saw an ad in the paper about a month ago or so uh, for Gabriel's, and they were touting these wines for really cheap. And I, if I remember correctly, when I was put my labels, you know, my back labels here, um, what they were selling them for. Actually, they put this ad in the paper recently again, but I don't remember seeing the original or regular price on these anymore. Um, so anyway, uh, this is one of them. This is uh, the Huala Tradicion Cabernet Sauvignon 2008 from Argentina. Uh, I bought this for $3.99. That's right, $3.99, not $399. $3.99. Um, and uh, it's supposed to regularly sell for $16 to $20 if I remember the ad correctly. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, one of those wines that uh, you especially find in South America or, or Spain that um, uh, you have a bodega that just creates the wine and somebody comes in and, and basically buys up the juice, I guess, or whatever they do. Um, I don't even know if that worked. Um, bought up the juice and slapped the label on it and brought it in. That's my impression of it because you can't find anything about this particular wine. In fact, most of the things I can only find is like the Huala, um, not, the, not the Cabernet Sauvignon, there's another Huala. Um, is the, the United States importer is an import actually somewhat local. They're out of New Braunfels or San Antonio, depending on where you're looking on Google. Um, but uh, it's, it's really, really hard to find it. Um, in Also, just as far as the Argentinian uh, um, AVA or DO, not DO, you know, their appellation, the uh, Valley, uh, the Famatina the Valley, or Valle de Famatina, is where uh, this wine's coming from. Now, this is somewhat northwest, somewhat the northwest part of Argentina, right near the Andes Mountains. Uh, this part of, the, uh, uh, of Argentina has some of the highest vineyards in the world, um, so that's part of their claim to fame. And I think it's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, though I can't be 100% sure of that. So let's check it out. It's a pretty deep color, can't really see anything, so. Okay, intriguing nose. I mean, it's got like this cherry, this cherry um, part of it, but I, at first it really kind of smelled like there was like a leather component or something like that. I still kind of get that in, in wood, just old wood. So. And maybe a little bit of pepper. So it's starting to open up a little more in the glass. I mean, yeah, the bottle's been open for a while, but... I right, see how it tastes. It's got hints of chocolate, um, maybe even a little bit of coffee to it, which that's not, that's not a descriptor I usually come up with on wine. Um, I, mean, I don't drink a lot of coffee. I don't like coffee at all. 
and this is not like one of those things, ooh, it's coffee, I hate it. Um, but I don't drink coffee, so therefore I don't, it's not a flavor profile I get a lot. I mean, I know what it, coffee tastes like. Um, but it's got a bit of a, maybe a, a chocolate mocha coffee aspect to it. Um, again, some fruit, dark, dark fruit, dark red fruit. elements of like black pepper, white pepper type of stuff, um, a tad of sweetness to it. It's, I, I kind of like it. Um, and for four bucks, I mean, good lord, it's, if you live in San Antonio, because I'm pretty sure, um, well, if you live in San Antonio, Gabriel's is who has it. I mean, I can't find anybody else who has this wine, well, at least not on the internet. Um, but uh, if you can find this wine and for four bucks, yeah. Um, even if it was ten bucks, I would say yeah, it's pretty good. It's good. It's a good buy. Um, darker fruits, so yeah, that chocolate mocha coffee type of aspect, the pepper. Um, I, I'm kind of digging it. Um, cabs are one of those things where they're, they're somewhat of a hit and miss for me. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I hate them. Um, this is, I'm gonna say I love it, but I do like it, and I think it's a pretty decent wine. Um, I like it. I definitely like it. Um, and it's not really heavy. It's not a very, very heavy cab. It looks really dark, um, but it's not a heavy, heavy cab. Um, uh, the tannins are pretty light, especially for, for this type of wine. Uh, acid is moderate, so um, it's pretty good. And it doesn't taste very hot alcohol-wise, 13.5% uh, alcohol, so you know the alcohol is contained pretty well. I'd give it an 86. Yeah, 86. It's a wine that I think it was if it was decanted or just even left like this open for a while gets better over time. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good, and especially because it, I bought it for such a cheap price, um, I think it's a, a steal to be honest. Um, let's see what else we got. That's gonna do it on this one. Um, not much else to talk about with, with wine on this. Uh, like I said, I got more wine I'm doing all a bunch today. Um, as always, stop by. Oh, this is again one another one of those wines. You're not, I'm not gonna have a click. I'm not gonna have a link to click below um, about the wine itself, unfortunately. Um, but uh, you know, stop by the website, leave comments. You know, let me know if you've had this wine, if you want to try the wine, if you know if. How, how things are going, I don't know, leave a comment. All you TiVo people sitting on the couch going, okay. Um, stop by, man, S leave comments. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what else, uh, friend me up as always. Uh, click those links, uh, donate, and uh, that's gonna be it. We'll see, everybody, we'll see everybody again next time. <laughs>